This video will demonstrate the mechanism the baby makes of a long rotation in an ROP labour. The baby in an ROP position will have a longitudinal lie, the presentation will be cephalic, the position in this case is ROP, that's right occipital posterior. The attitude of the head is one of flexion. The denominator, therefore, is the occiput. And the engaging diameter of this occiput is the suboccipital frontal of 10 centimetres. Towards the end of the pregnancy or in early labour, the foetal head is going to enter the maternal pelvis with a sagittal suture in the transverse diameter, similar um, position for a baby that's in the occipital anterior position. This demonstration is going to be talking about the long rotation, which requires a flexed head. Um, as the baby descends in the maternal pelvis through labour, we get some increasing flexion through the labour. The occiput will meet the resistance of the pelvic floor, but instead of rotating one eighth as it would do if it was in the OA position, it's now going to rotate forwards three eighths of a turn. And the shoulders will only rotate two eighths of a turn anteriorly. So it's the same misalignment that we have for a fetus that's lying in the OA position, and there is a slight twist in the neck, so the head and the shoulders are not aligned. Once the fetus head has made this 3 8 rotation, then it follows the same mechanism for a fetus that's now lying in the occipital anterior position. So we have increasing flexion, increasing descent, and the occiput slips underneath the subpubic arch, and crowning can occur. We get extension as the fetal head pivots on the suboccipital region and extends. This releases the syncopate, the face and the chin, which sweep the perineum. We get the correcting and untwisting of the fetal alignment, called restitution, and the occiput rotates one eighth of the rotation. We then get further descent of the fetus and the anterior shoulder meets the resistance of the pelvic floor and rotates anteriorly by one eighth to lay directly underneath the symphysis. And we get simultaneous external rotation of the head by one eighth. And the occiput lies laterally. The anterior shoulder then sleeps beneath the pubic arch as we get increasing descent. And the posterior shoulder sweeps the perineum and we get lateral flexion to deliver the baby.